welcome welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is kelly and this is olive <laughs> for today's video i'm going to be making a makeup look based off of this beautiful baby right here and i got this video idea from feller feller <laughs> fellow youtuber alexandra amel in alexandra's video <laughs> she did her makeup based off of her cat's fur pattern olive is just a black <laughs> void cat yes and she has no pattern on her other than a few little white spots of fur on her chest and on her shoulders, but that is it. <laughs> I know. She isn't too fond of the lights, so I'm gonna set her down, but she'll make an appearance again. Goodbye, Olive. Aww. But before we get any further into this video, let's all wish Olive a very happy fourth birthday. Happy birthday, Olive! This is a very extra special birthday because this is her first birthday with us in her new home and I cannot wait to just celebrate her even more than we already do. Yeah, she's just been such an amazing, incredible, loving, just, she's just a big ball of love and I love her and I'm so grateful for her and yeah. <laughs> But back to the makeup. So Olive is a black void cat. She has no pattern on her, so there isn't really anything for me to recreate. So I will just be making up my own look and I'll be taking these few photos that I found on Pinterest. And I really feel like they just fit Olive's vibe of being fierce, but being light and airy and magical, you know? I really want to go for like um, a darker smoky glam but with a touch of sparkle. I definitely want to incorporate her beautiful green eye color and another color that's kind of hidden on Olive is this beautiful auburn color that you can only see when she is in direct sunlight and she just glows. She's beautiful. To be clear. Uh -huh. To be completely honest, I can really easily overdo it when it comes to eye makeup and eyeliner and um, lashes and whatnot. Every time I try to plan to do something like light and fresh with maybe just like a lash, every time I take the mirror away, my eyes are just looking fierce. And I mean, hey, if it's meant to be, let it be. So I might keep this look more light and natural, or maybe I'll go very glam and dark. I don't know. We are just gonna see where the day takes us. And before I start on any makeup, I have to make sure that my skin is all prepped and ready and primed for anything to go on top. And fortunately, I already filmed my entire skincare routine for dry, dull, and sensitive skin, and that is up on my channel. I'll link that down below. Now, I don't really wear any face makeup, like foundation or BB cream, CC cream, that type of stuff. Like, no base makeup. I do wear concealer occasionally, like if I'm doing an eye look, or if I'm doing a cosplay, then I'll, I'll throw some face makeup on. But other than that, I like to keep it natural. So I'm going to be skipping those steps and moving straight on to contour and bronzer and blush. Miss Olive's cheekbones are very chiseled and defined and they are beautiful. They're just so cute. And so I really want to recreate her delectable little cheekbones. So to do that, I'm going to be taking a cream bronzer contour stick. I like to take it right under my cheekbone and kind of when you do that you can see right where it goes in naturally and I like to follow that. I'm debating on whether if I should contour my nose because sometimes when I do it looks really good 
but other times when I do it, my nose looks like a Saj Ventress. We'll just have to see how this goes. And with contour bonds or whatever, you want to start the blend at the the top of or Aww. you want to start the blend wherever you want it to fade in that direction, if that makes sense. So for me, I want this to blend upwards, so I'm gonna start blending from the top, keeping that bottom line more defined. <laughs> this just looks orange. Or maybe it's just like finally oxidizing, but this is orange. This is Ahsoka makeup. And when I say I've been using this product for years, I mean this product. Ew. I don't wear makeup very often. <laughs> so my products last me a while. And I know that's like gross, but it's sustainable. JK, um, it's gross. And you really shouldn't keep cream or like liquid products past their expiration date. It's just not good. But eyeshadow and like powders, I don't really see an issue with that. That's just my personal opinion. Let's blend the nose. Just follow your nose. And then make sure you blend it into the eyebrow. And that's why I like to save the eyebrows for later. <laughs> the woman was too stunned to speak. I don't even want to show this. Whew. I found a cream contouring palette. The contour color is almost all gone. I mean, Caroline. anywho, I'm gonna take one of these brushes. What are these called? A true beauty. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a thin brush and take this dark, cool toned contour color and then just really define that. While I have Ava here, <laughs> let me tell you a little bit more about her. So she was born with cerebellum hypoplasia, which is more commonly known as wobbly cat. Her condition, or case, whatever, is very low on the scale. What are you doing? You're comfortable, huh? Her case is very low on the scale, thankfully. Um, it barely affects her way of life. You can really just notice it when she's walking around. She kind of walks like this. She has a waddle in the way she turns her head around. She's like an owl, like literally an owl. I don't know how she does that, but let me blend this out while I'm talking. There is no need to worry or have concern about her. Um, she's literally a gymnast. She's a parkour legend and she could be the next American Ninja Warrior. When we first got her, I was scared um, about everything in our house and like how she would interact with things and if she would be okay jumping down from things and all of that. I'm a scared mother and Olive, <laughs> no. and she just acts like a child all the time. So, are you really gonna walk up here? Wow. wow. A bird landed on the window screen. Anywho, 
but yeah it really doesn't affect her mobility she's totally fine the only other thing about her which we did not know until we got home and we adopted her adopt don't shop is that she's deaf like 100 percent deaf we noticed this when we got back we took her to the vet she does have like an ear issue she produces a lot of wax we thought that would be like the the factor of why she cannot hear but no she's just deaf. and it has been an experience because our previous three pets they have been fully able with all of their senses so this is definitely a new experience but thankfully again that barely affects her way of life other than her being startled and scared when someone approaches her and she has no warning so like we have to blow on her to wake her up otherwise she'll be like Wah! yeah but oh my god let me move on i've only done contour so next i'm gonna do blush Ew. i'm gonna be using a cream blush stick this was a free sephora birthday gift years ago and hey i'm still using it so i like to keep my blush very high up on my cheeks and more back i just like the way it looks and the way it makes my face look but olive obviously does not have blushy cheeks but she does have very pink um she keeps trying to climb onto my chair onto my desk but my desk has everything on it and i where are you gonna go where are you gonna go olive has no pink on her other than um her bright pink tongue and when she turns around um her booty hole um i'm just gonna do some pink blush just to help you know just to make the world go round and i'm blending that up into my temple to kind of just have more color there and blending it onto the eye area just so it isn't a harsh line right under my eye i'm gonna set this contour with a cool toned contour powder this is stained blue it, it doesn't have makeup on it i cleaned my brushes before this video so these are all pretty warm toned still but this is the coolest so i'm just going to be taking a little bit of that you couldn't have jumped she just rock climbed up my bed anywho okay for brows I want to keep it light and fluffy and bushy so over the years my brows have finally made an appearance um, the first decade and a half of my life the brow hairs were there but they were blonde they were not really visible so I'm glad I'm lucky I'm thankful and grateful for what I have but let's fill them in some more and then I'm gonna go in with a clear brow gel just to set it and then to just define my brows and make them look more full well I guess I don't want to say the sole reason but and one of the main reasons that I started doing a bushy brow is because of Perry Edwards and then she started doing it like way back 2017 2018 but yeah she's still rocking it to this day and I just love that look so <laughs> finally on to eyes going back to those Pinterest photos 
I want to keep it very smoky defined but very light and airy so this photo right here um I think it's like a, a Pinterest famous photo um at least for me like I've been seeing this photo for years but I've always just really loved the look and shape and just the placement of everything I don't know I really love it it's glam it's sexy so let's try it i like to trace out my designs at least the wing or if i'm doing more of a, a cut crease type look i just like to sketch out where things are going so especially for this type of look that'll be really handy and i like to use brown because it is easy to just blend it out and if you need to get rid of something like that just blend it away it's easy and I mean, every color just blends right into that. So that's my tip. Let's just do this. Because I have hooded eyes, I can't really do a classic wing. So I'm gonna be doing that bat wing type thing. I'm just gonna do it and you can watch. <laughs> Okay, I actually really like this. So I'm gonna add a bit of black liner only to the bottom and the outer corner just to blend that so it'll be easier to apply the shadow. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna be diving into this eyeshadow palette, pretty all set. I just want to say something about all of this makeup. I have mentioned that it's kind of old. Not all of it, but... I'm going to be diving into this very, very dark brown. I'm going to be taking this very small dome blending brush. This is a, a shading brush and i'm just gonna barely tap in that color and then basically just going over everything that i just did and blending it out whilst i do so this is turning out pretty dang good so far knock on wood i'm gonna go back to that small angled brush that I used before and I'm gonna go into that same dark brown color but just go over the lower lash line. I should have done this before I started my eyeshadow but I'm gonna try and take this and put it on the inner corner. And then I'll go back in with that dark brown and blend out that liner that I just applied. In this palette, the darkest green shade is pretty much a teal, which I guess we'll have we'll have to use that but whatever so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna blend it right in that inner corner of the the crease hey! guys how long has my shirt been unbuttoned and you didn't even tell me Anyways, what a show. Subscribe if you aren't already, my goodness. Olive's eye color is most similar to that, and I might add that, but that is quite vibrant. So I might just do this actual olive green. It also matches the backdrop. 
that I put up especially for this video. Just for Olive. I recently cut off oh the killer is escaping! Help me! It was just time to. But luckily, now that my nails are short, I can use my fingers for eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use my pinky and I'm gonna try and go over the upper lash line and blend it into the crease. And then I'm gonna go back to this angled brush and I'm gonna take that olive green and I'm really gonna just start defining it right there. Then I'm gonna go back in with this shading brush and I will take that dark brown and I will blend that all together. I didn't know if I was gonna use this palette or not, but I think I just have to. It's my Trolls World Tour Techno Palette. Oh my god! It has this beautiful olivey green in there. I think I'm gonna throw that in the inner corner. I just wanna add some gold. Olive has no gold in her or on her except for in her heart. But I just kinda wanna add it. I don't know. What the dog doing? Now I don't know what to do, because I really like this. But she has green, so I need to add green. I like that. And I just realized it matches my hair perfectly. This was not planned. Um... Now I'm just going to take this blending shading brush and I'm going to take that green and just blend it into the lid, kind of the crease. I'm going to take this kind of flat blending brush and I'm going to take that dark chocolate color and then I'm going to attempt to fix these wings. That one is very, this one is very... So. Okay, now we are done with eyeshadow. Oh my goodness, that took way too long. Um, I'm gonna curl my lashes, I'm gonna apply some mascara, then I will be back to put these lashes on. Okay, I'm back and my eyelashes are on finally. <laughs> oh my. That was an experience that was a roller coaster and I'm glad I was not recording that. We are going back to face makeup and I'm gonna go on top of this with some blush. A nice beautiful pink blush. I'm just gonna take a nice big fluffy brush like this. Don't want too much. And I'm gonna go right on the high points of my cheek just kind of blending everything in and why not do some on the nose and now it is time for some highlighter miss olive really glows in the sunlight like i had mentioned before so i just really want to honor her glow i'm gonna be taking this very pale pink And now the last thing that I have to do is lips. Olive has these beautiful, luscious, glossy lips and I swear she wears lip gloss without me knowing. So I'm just gonna line my lips with whatever color, doesn't matter. And then I'll fill in my lips. So do we look alike? Do we look like twins? 
that is it for this makeup look for this makeup tutorial for olive's very special birthday video oh she smells the treats thank you so much for being here and for helping me celebrate olive's special birthday i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um i plan on doing more makeup videos sometime soon if you have any recommendations or looks you want me to try or anything like that or if you want me to do a makeup base look off <laughs> if you want me to do a makeup look based off of an animal or character cosplay anything like that my shirt is trashed I really enjoyed making this look for you guys and filming it. It's really fun to just sit down and create something. And yeah. If you have not already, please make sure to like this video and subscribe down below because I would love to have you join the channel and I'm posting a lot more frequently. So that's something to look forward to. I know. Hold on, hold on. So yeah, I think that's about it. She has her claws in my chest, so I think that is my sign to log off. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on my next video. Bye!